Good morning, Quadcopter 101, and I have a really neat quadcopter for you today. This one is the DLFPV uh, DL1060. Now, DLFPV normally makes racers, but what they got, they're starting to make now, is uh, little micro FPV flyers. Now, the 1060 here is intended to be an introductory FPV quadcopter for those wishing to enter into FPV. It is a beginner drone, okay? It does not have acro capability. It is all, um, actually has altitude hold, or it, you can turn off that altitude hold and fly in stabilized mode uh, in two rates, beginner and intermediate uh, rate for this quadcopter. Um, overall, it has, if you notice, I have a 5.8 gigahertz FPV screen, and it has a 5.8 gigahertz 40 channel FPV transmitter. Uh, camera all-in-one camera attached to it. So you are flying real 5.8 gigahertz FPV, which is pretty darn cool. Now I flew this in the house yesterday and it flies excellent, especially in the house. So this is one of the better um, beginner entry-level FPV setups that I've seen to date. Okay, <laughs> this one works very well. Uh, you know, this screen was very bright, uh, very good in indoors. Actually, I'm going to try to fly it with the screen outdoors, except I'll be sitting in the shade to do such. But, uh, you know, it's a bright sunny day here. But uh, I will be recording through my goggles. I will be recording the FPV video through my goggles. But we'll, I will be trying to fly this FPV using the screen alone. Um, let's go over the quadcopter. It has 720 motors. Actually, kind of big motors for a little whoop-style clone. Um, it comes with a 430 milliamp hour 3.7 volt battery. Again, it is a um, beginner's quadcopter in that it has... Uh, three modes out you know angle or altitude hold mode and two uh, uh, versions of uh, angle mode in effect sta stabilized mode beginner and intermediate to give you a little more of again it's primarily designed to be flown indoors i got a little bit of a breeze but we'll see how well it does outdoors today going over the controller uh the controller buttons that we got on this is again this this button here, if you are in beginner rate, you have to be in beginner rate, but if you press this button here, that will start the motors. If you are in uh, altitude hold mode, it shows up as green here. You cannot take off until you start the motors while in altitude hold mode, and that is by pressing this button here. If you press this button in the back here, that changes from altitude hold beginner mode to uh, turning off altitude hold and starting in beginner rate. Well, let's call that intermediate. And pressing it one more time without altitude hold, it'll enter into expert rate. So you got beginner altitude hold, intermediate no altitude hold, and finally expert no altitude hold. And again, in beginner, you have to start the motors by pressing this button, but you don't, in the other two, you don't. It'll, it will start up if you give it throttle in intermediate and expert. Um, it does have headless mode. I don't see what the need of headless mode is in an FPV quadcopter, but you can activate headless mode by pressing this button here. Uh, and also, they are planning a version, I guess, in the future to be able to record this video. And you would start and stop the video by pressing these buttons here. Or actually, this would be taking a photo. This would be taking a video. But again, this current version does not have that feature. And your on-off button is up here to turn on the transmitter. And these buttons here both are flip buttons. Either one you press and it will activate the flip feature and you tell it which direction to flip by doing that. And all, finally, let's go over the receiver monitor. It is a good receiver monitor. It is a very good receiver monitor. Um, on off here, it's a 40 channel reception. Um, you change the channels by pressing up here or down here, channel up or channel down. Or if you're off channel, this has auto scan. If you hold down the channel up button or the channel down button for about three seconds, it will enter into scan mode and cycle up and down or down to find the channel that your quadcopter is on. And you can enter the menus by pressing this button here and you can go through brightness and contrast and you can adjust that by up or down with these buttons here. You know, brightness up or brightness down, contrast up, contrast down. So that's it in effect. Let's go for a flight of this thing and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, I am recording using my Verhu uh, LS800D goggles. Got the quadcopter on the pad. I already have it charged up and energized. Turning on the transmitter by pressing that button and holding it down. And also turning on my receiver. Receiver screen. And we do have reception. I don't know if you can see that, folks, or not. But I do have good reception and I can see it. And uh, right now I am in beginner rate. Got a green light there, and I am going to be sitting down. 
and flying in FPV using this, ski, this screen here. First we'll start off in beginner rate and starting the motors by pressing this button here. And the motor should be operating. Oh, first I gotta bind the quad cutter. That'll help. And starting at altitude hold by pressing this button here. Motors are operating. Are the motors operating? <laughs> yeah, they're operating. My dog's in the way I can't see. <laughs> Taking to the air. Okay, again we are in altitude hold mode. It is very, very docile in altitude hold. And right now I am going to turn off altitude hold because we got some wind and we are intermediate right now. Let's bring it closer to us. I'm going to expert rate because of the wind. And we'll go up wind. And I am flying at strictly FPV, folks. Flying overhead, going that way, going high actually. I am using the monitor alone to fly this thing. Pretty darn cool. This is one of the better monitors I've seen. <laughs> it, it comes with a toy grade quadcopter to, to be able to do this. And again, indoors it flies excellent with this monitor. Right now I'm fighting a little bit of a breeze here, but. I always try to keep an eye on it. Again, I'm in high rate right now. Let's see if I can go around that tree there without hitting the branches. One of the better beginner FPV flyers that I've seen. This is really, really nice. Well made. Let's bring it up close so you can see it well-made little machine <laughs> one away from my wife there <laughs> and it flies very nicely okay this is full forward pitch folks this is as fast as it's going to go again I'm flying FPV still turning it around going by us whizzing around Coming around that tree, coming back to us so you can see it. Okay, fighting a little bit of a breeze here. I got full forward pitch and that's all it's doing. So let's land it for a second. I think I got a little bit of a accelerometer drift. Let's take off again. There we go. If you go outside, you might pick up some drift from fighting the uh, wind. When, when that happens, all you need to do, folks, is... Uh, land for about two seconds and that will correct that drift. I had a little bit of accelerometer drift. Still going. <laughs> Where'd I land at? <laughs> Stuck. I had a, hit a bit of grass there and blocked the motors. Let's take off again. So again, let's, okay, let's keep it up close for the remainder of the flight so you can see it. For those who want to see it. This is it. Very nice little machine. Very well made. I was wondering why anybody, people haven't put out something like this before. But uh, let's do a flip if there's any more power. <laughs> it can do flips. Uh, does the forward or back and forward flip better? <laughs> okay, that's enough flips. <laughs> Bring it around again. Nice little FPV flyer. Really nice little FPV flyer. <laughs> Go back to the screen. Yeah. Got that drift again. Coming through, coming through. There must be wind up there on that hill. Because I don't seem to have that drift over here. Let's see if we got any blinking lights yet. See any blinking lights on that? Going over my head. I don't see any lights on that. Wait, yeah, I do see a light between the battery case, but it's not blinking yet. Now, the, uh, I mentioned that the uh, camera on this is 40 channels. It has uh, two little 
poked holes in the back of the camera. I don't know if, here, I'll bring it up closer so maybe you can see it. And your little LEDs in the back of it uh, for changing the channels. That's, that's how you tell you what channel it is on. It's color coded in the back. Boy, this thing's still flying a long time, ain't it? I'm surprised how long this little thing can fly. <laughs> fly by my dog. <laughs> Little FPV flyer. Surprisingly long flight time. I would recommend not flying this long though. Even though this is the 720 motors, I would not recommend flying this long. And we're gonna call it quits there. Because you will burn out motors if you keep flying it until the battery. That battery is more than sufficient to give you a lot of flight time. I'll take that back again, huh? But uh I know what's going to happen. Eventually, you're going to burn out mode. Okay, the lights are blinking. They are blinking now, so that is LVC. So we're going to call it quits right there with LVC. But before I do turn it off, um, I want, I don't know if you can see inside there or not, but there's your color coding to tell you what channel you're on. You can switch between NTSC and PAL by this lower hole here. You put a uh, pin inside there and push in and hold it down for about three seconds. That'll switch between bands, channels, uh, and I wait channels by a quick press of that bands by a longer press and uh, NTSC and PAL by a like a five second press and you'll get a green or a red light inside there or green or no green light to tell you if you're in uh, NTSC or not I think I'm in PAL right now and you switch between the different channels by the upper one again by pushing a pin in there so so all in all this is a neat little quadcopter very capable FPV flyer uh, for a whoop, let me unplug it. And uh, it comes with, again, a nice setup, ready to go. You got all you need to do, you know, to fly this with this uh, scan or this monitor here. And I was flying it outdoors, although I was sitting in the shade, but I was easily able to see that screen outdoors. So I uh, hope you, let's, let me demonstrate that one more time before I shut down, folks. See if I got any more power so you can see that screen. I didn't hold it up high to show you that screen. But I don't know if you can see it or not. Let me go in the shade here a bit. But that is what I was seeing on that. I hope it's showing up on my camera. Probably not. But even though if, if it's not showing up, I was recording. So we'll have uh, show, you know, show what I was viewing on the screen via my goggles over there. So I hope you enjoyed this flight. This is, let me turn it around. This is Quadcopter 101 with the uh, um, DLFPV DL1060. <laughs> hope, hope you enjoyed it. Quadcopter 101, signing out.